we have done so many things in this application and because of that we have some dummy code as well that we have written while learning the different concepts now it is time to clean up this application and make it a proper base application for the book store just to have a look on the dummy code here you can see under this src we have this app folder and inside this app folder we are having this about us how it works here we have this public module and under this public module we have some components and this is the home components i want to design this application in such a way that the home page about us page how it works page these must belong to the app module and i want to create a separate module for the books so that i can see the details and all books under this book module so first of all let's update the name of this public module and instead of having this public module this time i'll make it the book module so here instead of having this public module i want to have the books module hit the enter button and it has been updated let's update the name of this file as well so here instead of having this public this time i want to have books we have updated this one then this public component let's update all of them one by one we have updated the name of this module to books now let's go to this books component and here is still the name is public component so i want to make changes in this name as well instead of having this public now i want to make it books save the changes and let's update this selector as well so app book instead of having this public i want to have books let's go to this books routing module as well and here i want to use books okay now let's go back to the app routing module and for the books i want to create one separate lazy loading module over here there we go so if it is books then i want to use the books components like this there we are we have updated all the names about this books now i want to take this home component out from this books and i want to keep it under the app module let's do that so from here i'm just simply dragging and dropping on the app now we have this home at the root level we have this about us also at the root level and this how it works also at the root level now it is always better to place all of them under one single folder because let's assume that in future you are having 10 or 20 components under this app module and having all of them at the root level will not look good so let's create a separate folder for all these public components you can give any meaningful name as per your need let's say here i'm writing public components and i want to move these public components under this public components folder so like this about us let's move to the public component this home as well and this how it works also now if we talk about the folder structure you will see we are having this auth module completely separate for all the authentication operations like the login sign up change password forgot password all those things we have this books module and the details of the books the list of all the books it is visible over here then we are having this public components and those belongs to the app module we have some shared module as well in the shared we are having this not found toolbar and material module as well and because we are using this material module in the shared module and the shared module is used among all other modules that is why we are getting the reference of this material in all the modules let's open this app routing module and make some changes in this particular routing also so this time i want to have a proper home page and i do not want to redirect it to anywhere i want to keep it i want to display a component for this one so here i am writing home component and this component is placed under this public components home and this home component let's go to the app module and let's see what we have over here we have this app component about us component 
and the how it works i also want to have this home component at this place let's define the home component also over here remove all these names because we are not using them remove these material modules also because we are having a separate module for all these features remove these imports as well like this okay let's go to this books module and here we are in this books module we don't need this home component at this place so i can remove it completely under this one we are having all books components book details components and the books components let's try to build this application and let's see what is the error The build is successful. Now let's run this application using the ng-serve command. This application is working fine and let's see what we have. We are having this home works. It means the home component is working. And if you have noticed that this home URL is not redirecting to the about us. Now first let's update this toolbar so that we can have the proper buttons or links over here so let's go to this shared folder the components we have this toolbar this is the toolbar component over here and instead of using this raised button this time i want to keep the simple buttons and you will see this is how a plain button looks like so i want this thing over here i do not want to have these icon buttons so i can remove them so for now let's just comment them and here i want to make it login and sign up like this you can see we are having this login and sign up we are also having one icon button at this place we don't need this one as well so we can simply remove this part also now we are having this my app this is the title and it is visible over here let's update this one also here i'm having bookstore save the changes the proper name is visible to us now let's make few more menus over here here we are having this class that is the example spacer and its CSS is written in this SCSS file. This name is not looking good. So let's update this name. Instead of having this example spacer, let's simply use the spacer. Remove this one also. And so far everything is working fine. Now let's use this spacer class one more time and paste it again. And here I want to keep few more links. Like this. Let's update the name. So here I'm writing all books. This is the all books. And let's create one icon button for the home page. We need to update this icon, and you can update the icons by using the Google Material Library. So let's open the Google Material icons. Search for it and we have the website phones.google.com Under this phones.google.com.icons we are having so many icons here you can search for all your icons and I want to use this home to use this icon we have to use this home text let's go back to the application and here we are having this share so let's make it to home we are having a proper home button as well we can also place few more links like about us or how it works over here or we can also create one footer in this application and we can keep all these links in that footer so it is ideal to create a footer to make a footer let's create one more component under the shared folder so here we are in the app we are having this shared these are the components and i want to create one footer over here so let's hit on this plus button ng g c i want to keep it under this shared then the component footer and the module should be shared at the enter button we are having this footer over here this is the footer this is the html for this one if i go to the shared module i want to use this footer component in all other modules also so i want to use it in the exports also like this now what is the selector for this one the selector is app footer there we are if i go to the app module here we are app module and this is the corresponding app component html 
over here let's paste this footer so we are having this footer box also now you can create the design of the footer as per your need we are under the shared components footer but here just for the demo purpose i will use this toolbar in the footer also so let's open the angular material website material.angular.io go to the components here we are having all the toolbars these are the toolbars and let's use the first one that is the simple one this one let's see what is the update here we are having a proper footer we can create few more links over here for this about us and how it works so let's go to the application here we are in the footer component here let's create few buttons we can copy the button code from this toolbar and here is the button code here i'm writing about us and here i'm writing how it works we are having all the buttons over here